Glamsters, welcome back to the channel you guys, welcome back to another Gomez Glam video. So today you guys, we're going to be finally, oh my god, finally playing around with the new Kat Von D Saints and Sinners palette. I ordered this on the launch date you guys and it took me so long to film because I didn't have a voice, I had been really sick. Um, as you guys can probably tell from my voice, I still sound a little bit sick and congested and like raspy sounding. but. I have a voice, which is the most important thing. So we're finally gonna be playing with this, you guys. I have not played with it at all. It's been killing me, but I did swatch it for my makeup group in Facebook. So I have swatched it, but I have not played with it on the eyes. So we're gonna be playing with this today, you guys. It is an, a beautiful palette. Like beautiful palette really is an understatement. It is gorgeous. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw her video and I just knew that I had to have it. I had to have it. So my baby of course let me buy it and I ordered it on the launch date and it actually got here pretty fast you guys I'm not gonna really do like a full review on the palette. I will tell you guys my thoughts um, I will show you guys swatches, but pretty much I'm just gonna be doing a look with this bad boy right here today Another exciting thing that I have to share with you guys is a new brush set from Do Color As you guys know if you guys have been on my channel for quite some time You guys have seen me talk about Do Color in a lot of videos I have a very close relationship with them. I love them dearly. I think their products are amazing quality, you guys. Their products are beautiful. Their brushes are beautiful. So beautiful, you guys. And they're also really affordable. So I have a brand new brush set here to share with you guys. This is the box it came in. It is absolutely beautiful you guys it's a galaxy brush set that is what it's called galaxy brush set it is a 12 piece brush set so I will be letting you guys know all the brushes that come in this set and I'm gonna only use these brushes to create a look today so I'm gonna be showing you guys these beautiful brushes I do want you guys to know that all the information for these brushes is gonna be listed down below do color used to only sell on Amazon but they now have their own website so you can go to their website you guys this brush set for 12 beautiful brushes retails for $22 I believe but if you use the code glamours which as you guys know we are glamsters here but the discount code is glamours so it's g-l-a-m-e-r-s I'm gonna put that discount code here on the screen for you guys if you insert the code glamours upon checkout that will save you 10% off so I'm so excited to open these bad boys. I have also had these in my possession for quite some time, but I wasn't able to show you guys them or film with them because once again, I was deathly sick. So I'm so excited you guys today. We're just gonna be playing with some new stuff, showing you guys some beautiful brushes. And like I said, if you guys are interested in the brushes, all the information, including the discount code will be listed down below for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the video, you guys. I love you guys so much. As you guys are watching the video, if you guys enjoy yourself and have some fun watching this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe on your way out, you guys. I would love you guys so, so much for that. I love you guys and let's have some fun. Let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, so first things first, let's go ahead and pull this hair back. My hair is actually combed today. I'm so proud of myself. Even though it is Saturday and it's like just a day to chill, I want to look sexy for my wife today so that is the goal all right you guys so to moisturize the face I'm gonna be taking my normal Garnier skin active gel moisturizer such a good moisturizer for oily skin you guys know I've already ranted and raved about this moisturizer all right you guys and for primer I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the urban decay optical illusion face primer you guys already know my obsession with this All right, you guys, so while the primer is setting into my skin, let's go ahead and crack open this brush set. I want to show you guys every single brush that comes in here, and then you guys will be able to see how they work for applying makeup as well. 
So here are all of the brushes, you guys. They all come individually wrapped with plastic. So I love that about Dew Color. They really make sure that your brushes get to you nice and safe. So all the plastic has been taken off. I am about to show you these absolutely beautiful handles. So let's go through the brushes real quick. I'll give you guys a quick little rundown. This one has a little protective netting on it because this is a large powder brush. So here is what each and every handle looks like, you guys. It says Dew Color right here, and it has this beautiful galaxy imprint on the handle. The handles do feel like really heavy-duty plastic, and then they have a black ferrule, and then they have beautiful black soft bristles. These bristles are so soft, you guys. You guys can see it there. Next up, we have a little contour brush. It's like a little flat contour brush. This is going to be beautiful for chiseling out the face. Also very soft bristles. Next up we have either a blush brush or this could be maybe like a bronzer brush. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is also a little powder brush that could be used for blush or bronzer. Here is our foundation brush. This foundation brush feels like it's gonna be beautiful for blending out liquid foundation. And you guys, this set does come with a fan brush. This fan brush looks like it's gonna be beautiful for highlight. So here is our fan brush, you guys. Look at those black bristles. They look beautiful with these handles. I cannot even get over how beautiful these are. Okay, so now we're gonna start moving into the smaller eye brushes. So. First one, it looks like this is a little blending brush. So here is what one of the little eyeshadow brushes looks like. It looks like it's gonna be great for blending or even for detail work in the crease. Such a good little all around brush. Next up, we have a little flat detail brush. This is gonna be perfect for applying shimmer colors to the lid. I am so excited about this brush, you guys. This is a little angled either eyeliner brush or eyebrow brush. I'll probably use it for my eyebrows, but look at these bristles here on the front you guys they're really long but they're not too bendy so this is gonna be really great for creating really sharp eyebrows or a sharp winged liner this brush is just gonna be great for that so here is our classic blending brush you guys and here is a good look at the flat shader brush really good length to the bristles also a really good amount of density not too dense but it's gonna be good for packing on pigmentation and here's a good look at the last eyeshadow brush this is the other flat shader brush okay you guys so here are all the brushes I cannot believe how beautiful these brushes are Wow and you guys they have some weight to them they're not light or cheap filling at all they have a good amount of weight to them these bristles though oh my god I really cannot say enough good things about do color I definitely suggest you guys go check them out on Instagram Go check out their website. All right, you guys, so for foundation, let's go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And for application, I'm gonna use this Dew Color Foundation Brush from the set. So I just get a little bit out and then put some on the first half of my face. And with our foundation brush, we'll go ahead and blend this in. All right, you guys, I am back. I had to switch out the battery to the camera so I'm back so this brush so far I don't think I've updated you guys yet but the foundation brush is working perfectly the way I do my foundation it's perfect for that because I just stipple my foundation on I don't really like brushes that you have to rub it in I kind of just like to stipple my foundation All right, you guys, so foundation is on, and I, just like I expected, this brush performed beautifully. It blended out the product nicely. I don't have any streaks in my foundation. Definitely a big plus so far, but I already know what to expect from Dew Color. All right, you guys, and for concealer, I'm gonna take a mixture of my MAC Pro Longwear and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 5, just because this one is like the same shade as my skin tone, but it is amazing coverage. And then the color Pop will add a little bit of lightness to all of that. 
The Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC is probably one of my favorite concealers. It's so good. I need to go in and get a different shade so that way I can have a lighter one that I can use by itself. Okay, so for underneath the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Pro Longwear and a little bit of the ColourPop. All right, so I'm actually gonna let that sit there for just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of the Pro Longwear that I have, just because I have a lot. So I'm gonna use this to prime my eyes. Let's blend out the under eye. All right, so before anything creases, let's set it down. I'm gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder. I love that stuff, you guys already know. So I'm gonna use the other side, and this is the Real Techniques um, Precision Blending Sponge or something it's called. So I like to use this flat side to go ahead and apply powder. And I am gonna bake a little bit just underneath the eyes. I'm also gonna set down my lids right away so that way they don't crease. So I'm just going to leave that side baking. Okay, and I'm just going to take a little bit of what's left on my beauty sponge and just tap this into the rest of the face. The reason why I like the RCMA No Color Powder is because exactly like it says, it has no color. So it really doesn't change the color of your foundation. Alright you guys, so usually I do my brows off of camera, but for the sake of using this brush, this little angled brush right here, I'm going to do one of my brows on camera. Alright you guys, so I'm just going to zoom you guys in. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I'm going to go ahead and use my spoolie from another set. This is also from a Do Color set and I'm just going to spoolie through my brows. All right, so this brush looks absolutely amazing for eyebrows, eyeliner, um, but let's see how it works. Yep, so far so good. All right, you guys, so we have one brow done and this brush is amazing, like I told you guys. So let me go ahead and do the other brow and then we will be right back and we will start some eyes. All right, you guys, so I am back with two eyebrows on. I love that brush. I think that's gonna be my new like everyday brow brush. It's just so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this large powder brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start dusting off my bake and blending it in. Oh my gosh, these bristles you guys are so freaking soft. You guys are gonna freak out if you get this brush set. Like I cannot believe how soft these bristles are. Obviously they're synthetic bristles, but I've never felt synthetic bristles that are this soft. Another thing I've noticed and I wanted to tell you guys with these brushes, I have not experienced any shedding. No shedding at all. There's no bristles that are loose. Everything is pressed in there nice and firm. The moment of truth, you guys. Let's go ahead and crack open the Saints and Sinners palette. Here are all the colors. There is a Saint side and a Sinner side. The packaging, you guys, is what got me with this palette. I'm not even kidding. I love how it's like a cathedral type packaging. It's so cool. So both sides also come with this little mirror and both of these fold inwards So that way you can just kind of have your palette like this I'm gonna grab kind of like this flat kind of blending brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Amen and Amen is this shade right here. We are picking up quite a lot of product on our brush. And even though I set down my eyes with the no color powder, I am just gonna put this down as well. So this shade so far feels really buttery. It feels really good. This is a matte shade, obviously. Really easy to spread around and get even pigmentation. So I have no idea what we're gonna create today, but let me grab this blending brush from the set. 
Okay, you guys, so the first shade that I'm gonna dip into is actually over on the center side. I'm gonna dip into this one called Martyr. It looks like a really cool, like, camel brown matte shade. I am getting a lot of pigmentation on these brushes, you guys. So let's go ahead and work this in. This is gonna be kind of like a first transition. I need a bigger brush for this. I'm gonna try to go back to the brush that I used for the white color. That last brush just wasn't covering enough space. It's kind of a smaller blending brush, but this one is working out perfect. This color is really beautiful, you guys. It's blending out beautiful. It's nice and pigmented. and there's also no fallout on my face. Okay, you guys, so we have the first transition shade down. That shade was absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right next door, which is called Devil. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So this looks like a beautiful like terracotta, kind of orangey red. So pretty, it's more orange than it is red, so. This should pair perfectly with the first transition that we have down. And I'm taking that smaller blending brush from the set and I'm gonna work this right into the crease. Okay, and then as I go along, I'm also gonna start blending these two shades together. Everything is blending so well together as well. There's no patchiness, there's no harshness between shades, just really easy shadows to work with. But of course it's Kat Von D, so you guys know. All right, I think I'm gonna do something and I might regret it, I might not, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Exorcism. And I've just been using the same brush, you guys. Exorcism is this purple right down here. I feel like I just need a little bit more judge to the crease. Um, let's just see if we can work it in under what's going on over here. And then I'm gonna go back in with Devil and I'm gonna blend the edges. I really wanna keep that color concentrated right here where it's at, just so that way there's a little bit more dimension in the crease, but it's not completely dark in the crease. Just want it to have its own little moment right here in the crease. And almost let your brush like get pushed into your eye socket. Like, see how my brush kind of gets stuck in there? And that's where I want it to be. So I want to kind of open my eye and let my eye squeeze the brush and then work it back and forth because that's going to give it that exact placement. All right, so like I did on the other eye, I'm going back in with the shade Devil, which is the orange, and blending out these edges. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and put something on the outer corner, and then we'll go ahead and put something on the lid. So for the outer corner, I'm gonna go ahead and tap into, I'm gonna tap into the shade Crucifix. And Crucifix is just a good deep matte brown. And I'm still just using the brushes from the set, so this is the flat shader. And I'm just gonna start by tapping in this color right on the outer corner. I'm just tapping it, I'm not blending it yet. So once you have enough pigmentation built up in the outer corner, then you can kind of get your brush and wiggle it just to start blending it out. 
as you guys can tell this is a very dark like vampy fall kind of look but i think i am gonna light it lighten it up with whatever we put on the crease all right you guys and for the lid color i want something really cool that's gonna pop i think relic would look cool like this goldish yellowish goldish kind of color all right so i think i'm gonna go in with the shade relic and this is not a brush from the set you guys this is just my beloved mac 242 because you guys already know i cannot do shimmer colors without it it's an addiction all right so i did spray this color down with a little bit of setting spray and i'm gonna just tap this in oh my god i'm gonna tap this in on the lid All right, guys, so that is what the yellow shade looks like. This is in the shade Relic, but I heard, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine to leave it like this, but I heard that there are two glitter topper shades in this palette. So I wanna go ahead and test one of those out. So these two shades right up here at the top of the palette, these are like glitter topper shades. And I'm gonna tap into Absolution, and I'm gonna see what this one does to the look. Oh yeah, it is adding a little bit of something. Alright, well that glitter topper is absolutely beautiful. It didn't do much, but it kind of just added like a little bit of sparkle to the yellow shade. I'm gonna tap into Sabbath. Ooh, that glitter gets everywhere. Sabbath is the black shade, and I'm just gonna define this outer corner a little bit. All right, you guys, so here are what the eyes look like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes, my eyeliner and everything off of camera like I always do, and then we'll come back and I think I wanna do something really colorful for the lower lash lines. So I will be right back with lashes and eyeliner. All right, you guys, so lashes are on. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these lashes. They're kind of weird. Um, I should actually see if I can put some mascara on them. That's a little better, but not really. But as I was saying, I don't know how I feel about these lashes. These are just a little set of five that I actually got at TJ Maxx. So these are from Paris Hilton. Um, they kind of look like cute, like everyday kind of lashes. So I got them. Alright you guys, so this is the lower lash line. I put a little bit of Ministry underneath my lower lashes and then a little bit of Exodus, which is this lime green. So it looks pretty freaking cool. I hope my camera's not dark. Uh, but yeah, so that is the lower lash line. I was trying to explain it to you guys, but my dogs literally were barking for like 10 minutes straight. For a little bit of bronzer, we're gonna tap into the shade and light contour palette. Tapping into this middle shade right here kind of using this bigger domed powder brush kind of as a bronzer brush
Alright you guys, and then with this flat little contour brush, I'm going to dip into the slightly darker shade, just lightly, and I'm going to go right under here on the jawbone, or the, the, cheek, the cheekbone, oh my god I couldn't even talk, just right in here. Just to add a little bit of contour. And I'm also going to use this contour brush to contour the sides of my nose. Just cut them out right here. I am really loving this contour brush, you guys. It creates such a sharp line. Oh my gosh. Alright, you guys, I'm going to take the smaller blush brush into a little bit of my favorite Folk Allure blush. You guys already know how much I love this thing. Just the tiniest little bit of blush. And for highlighter, I'm just going to use this one because this one is easy to get to. So this is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. I'm going to use the fan brush and we're just going to highlight. So this fan brush is highlighting beautifully. Alright you guys, and for lips, I'm going to be using Times Square by Colourpop. This is a ultra matte lippy. Alright my Glamsters, so this is the finished look. Let me know down below what you guys think of this look. Definitely you guys, if you guys can, get your hands on this palette. This is limited edition, so do not sleep on this palette, you guys. Don't sleep on it. It is amazing. The formulation is beautiful. The colors are beautiful, and the packaging is to die for. Whatever kind of look you guys want me to do with this palette, definitely leave those down below, and I'll get them done for you. Also, you guys, these brushes, I only used one brush that wasn't from this set, and I created this whole full glam look, and it's beautiful, you guys. So these brushes are amazing if you guys are interested in them. Like I said, all information is down below as well as a 10% off discount code. So I love you guys so much and let me know down below what you guys think of this very colorful kind of fall appropriate look. And I love you. I will see you guys very soon. And until next time, stay glamorous.